How's it going YouTube? This is Skull and today I have a uh, rather surprising video I'm sure for most of you. Um, so let me explain the backstory to all this. Uh, as many of you know I went to the um, Pokemon World Championships in San Francisco, California and didn't find out until a week beforehand that we were not allowed to spectate. As such that was basically a completed wasted trip for me. Um, to give you an idea, I uh, basically uh, spent like three thousand dollars between the plane tickets and staying in the Marriott that the convention took place in despite not being able to go to it. Uh, you know when I booked the hotel I thought that it would make it more convenient and by the time we learned that we couldn't watch it was too late to change the hotel so that was expensive the plane tickets were expensive eating and transportation stuff like that basically came out to three three thousand dollars wasted for that trip and Basically, that trip told me that Pokemon doesn't really care about anyone outside of the competitive scene. Uh, I know that's not true, but that's how I felt then, and that's sort of how I feel now. So, um, as such, I really don't feel like collecting the Pokemon cards anymore. That's not to say that I am stopping opening up packs. Uh, that's definitely one of my most successful things that I do here on YouTube, and that's what most of you want to see. So I will still open up new products in the future, I'm just not going to collect the cards anymore. So, um, I also want to point out that if you watch this video, the cards I'm selling are only the cards that are in my personal collection. As you can see here, this is, uh, make sure it's all in frame, this is all of my uh, original series cards and there's only one card per sleeve, etc. So, um, so basically, I'm only selling the cards in my collection because I don't want to collect them anymore. If you guys have sent me cards uh, for free, then as far as I know, most if not all of those are not going to be included in this. This is only what is in my collection. Uh, some of you have sent me free cards that I ended up putting in my collection, and I thank you for that, but unfortunately I don't know what cards those are, and now they're going to have to go. If you've sent me bulk cards, um, <clears throat> and and all of them have not been things that I put in my collection, then don't worry. Those are safe. Somewhere. Basically, I'm only selling the cards that I have already spent my hard-earned money on. Um, honestly, the only reason I've spent the past five years collecting Pokemon cards is knowing that someday I'd be able to sell it and get my money back, and now that's kind of what I want to do. I love Pokemon. I, I will always love Pokemon. I just can't collect the cards anymore. I just... My heart's not in it, uh, it's always been too much work in hindsight, and I really feel alienated by the Pokemon company now, and even though I'll keep opening up their products, even though I'll play Sun and Moon to death when those come out in November, I don't want to collect the cards anymore. So I am selling my entire collection, or as much of it as I can, and I'm starting out by making this sale video. Um, if you're interested in anything that I show off, then let me know by sending me an email, skullshirtigletcg at gmail.com. Uh, unlike my trade binder videos, which I guess I won't be making anymore now, um, I will leave comments open if you have questions. Uh, feel free to ask any questions you want. Um, but don't make any offers in the comments, only through email. Uh, no private messaging, the messages system on YouTube is really screwed up. Uh, note on Twitter just strictly through email, skullshirtigoldtcg at gmail.com. Uh, it's in the description if you need help. Um, I'm going to list my prices for what I show off, but uh, prices are negotiable, so if you have uh, an offer on stuff, then please let me know. I'm going to start off with this. Um, I'm willing to sell basically the binder and everything in it for... I'm gonna go for six hundred and fifty dollars. It's a really nice binder, as far as I can tell. It's in really good condition too. The the spine is all in one piece as well. Um, the stuff inside here, individually, this is the entire first series of Pokemon cards. So I'm trying to get it center. I guess I can zoom in a little bit, huh? Okay. Um, so anyway, I have a complete base set available, including, as you saw there at the front, the Charizard. I'm trying to get the uh, page here. Even though the spine is fine, sometimes the rings cause me some trouble, like now. Um, there are a few shadowless cards in here as well, like this Starmie, for example. 
Um, but for the most part, they're just unlimited base set. Uh, most of them are mint or near mint. Um, there's a few that are damaged, but even so, I would sell the entire base set for $200. Um, uh, again, prices are negotiable, but everything's in a sleeve. I'd rather not part the cards out. I'd rather not sell them individually. I'd rather sell these first ones as completed sets as much as possible. But again, if you have an offer, please let me know. Um, like maybe if you just wanted the Charizard, I could sell that for 30 bucks and then um, and then reduce the rest of it down to 150. I don't know. Anyway, so now next up is a complete jungle set, and this is a mixture of jungle and first edition jungle. And not too many first edition cards that I can see, but this is a complete set. So um, I'll sell the jungle set for a hundred dollars altogether. A uh, complete fossil set, again mixture of unlimited and first edition. I'll sell that for another hundred. Uh, here's the Team Rocket set. Um, that's a pre-release Gyarados. So technically it's not a complete set, but it's a it's a pre-release Gear Dark Gyarados. Actually, I wonder if I have an actual copy of it underneath. It doesn't feel like I do. Um, so it's technically not complete, but the Gyarados is from the set. It's just the pre-release version. Um, I'd sell the complete set for, I think, 75. Uh, again, mint or near mint, mixture of Unlimited and first edition, uh, mostly mint, near mint. There's a few damage cards. I'd rather not part them out. That is a dark Raichu. Um, Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge are not completed, but they do have complete common uncommon set. Uh, so I'd sell what I have for each of these at fifty dollars each. Uh, that was Gym Heroes. Here's Gym Challenge, which I think is closer to being complete. Uh, right about here is where all the cards are not in individual sleeves. Um, they're, um, they're all still mint or near mint, they're just not all individually sleeved. That one's not anywhere close to mint, but for the most part they are mint or near mint. Here's the complete base set too. The Charizard is incredibly damaged though. So I would sell this base set too for, I think, 150 uh, Again, prices are negotiable. And that's the first binder. And here's the second binder I'm going to show off for you guys. Um, uh, if you can guess by the cover, this is my XY series. Uh, it starts out with the starter set, actually. It goes all the way to Roaring Skies. Uh, this one I am a little, um, a little more comfortable with parting out if possible. If if you want, uh, I could do a complete non-ultra rare set, or I could do the complete set including ultra rares. Um, let's see here at the beginning. This is the starter set, like I said. All the uh, variants are just the hollow variants. There's no non-hollow variants in there. I'd sell this for maybe 20 bucks for the whole set. Here's the complete XY base set. Um, for all of my sets from uh, uh, basically ex uh, Expedition on, if there are reverse hollows there, then I just count them as um, the same as the regular card. So this will be a mixture of uh, regulars and reverse hollows for everything. Uh, it does have all the EXs, including the Full Arts at the very end, um, including, of course, Eveltal EX. I do have these two other versions of Vivion. This is the Japanese version, that's the uh, other American version. And then all the Full Arts. Um, I'd sell the XY set, all non-Ultra Rares, um, 50 bucks, and then counting Ultra Rares for um, $100 something I'll probably have a, a thing at the bottom of the video saying how much these will be worth because I'm not exactly sure how much they're all worth right now this of course is flash fire um, I'd sell everything in here all the Charizards and stuff um, I'd probably even sell the Helioptile and Heliolisk I am keeping my Helioptile collection for bragging rights um, but if you want the entire flash fire set and you want the Helioptile and Heliolisk then I'll probably sell them as well uh, of course, this does include the three secret rares, including the Charizard, which, you know, so many people have commented on my video that they want. Also has Full Art Lysander, Full Art Charizard, all the stuff. Again, I'll probably have a thing at the bottom of the video saying how much I'd sell the set for. Uh, for non-ultra rares, probably 50 bucks again. Um, anyway, so it'll be that way for everything. I've got Furious Fists completed, including, of course, Seismitoad X, which is not as valuable now as it used to be. 
This is Phantom Forces, same thing with the Helioptiles for this set. Um, this was just rotated out of format, so you could still use all the cards and expand it, of course. And it does include the Silver Dialga, the Band Lysander's Jump card. Uh, this is Primal Clash, a uh, complete set here. And it does have all the full arts and stuff here. Beautiful page here. Um, beautiful page with the rest of the full arts and all four secret rares. So yeah. Uh, and then this is actually, um, man, what's this called? Double Crisis. I have completed that set as well. I'll um, probably sell it for, I don't know. I, I don't know how much the full arts are worth. And then everything else isn't worth much more than that. Uh, it'll be at the bottom of the video. This is Roaring Skies, I think. I think this is Roaring Skies. Yeah, this is Roaring Skies. Um, again, I'm willing to part the cards out, especially the Shaman. I believe Shaman's worth 60 bucks right now. I know the full art alone, right here, is worth uh, 90. And then, of course, the Gold VS Seeker. I'm willing to part the cards out, just make me an offer. I'd rather them stick with a set if possible, but if not, I completely understand. So, I'll, I'll have the set information at the bottom of the video, and, uh, yeah, and then of course if you have, if you want some of the individual ultra rares from this, just uh, make me an offer through email. Okay, this is my second binder for the XY series. Uh, we're starting out with uh, Ancient Origins. This is a complete set. Unfortunately, they're not all sleeved. In fact, most of them aren't, but quite a few of them are. But it is a complete set. Um, uh, that's an empty space just because I decided to put all the three um, shiny cards there at the bottom. And then of course the two secret rares there. Uh, next is whatever this set's called by this time I kind of forgot. Breakthrough. And again a complete set. Basically everything is a complete set. And I also have a complete black and white series as well. I don't think I need to show you guys that. Um, the black and white series, I, I don't know what those sets are worth. Uh, I think they're probably worth between 50 and 100 bucks per set. Have all the full arts, secret rares. And now is break point. All the ultra rares, including the full arts. Um, uh, Full Art Skyla, Secret Rare Gyarados, and then this is the Generations set. I didn't actually get to finish this. I got really close. Still missing that Golbat randomly, Doug Trio, Golem Hollow. I know the Golem Hollow was really hard to get. Uh, two trainers there. Do have all the energy. Some of them are reverse. I have. I'm not even close to completing the Radiant Collection. Uh, but I have all the Full Arts from there, so that's cool. And then this is uh, Fates Collide. Then I didn't actually get around to putting my Steam Siege cards in here. I didn't complete that set. Did complete Fates Collide, so this is a complete Fates Collide set. Information's at the bottom of the video about how much for the non-Ultra Rare set and how much including the Ultra Rares. And if you want some of the Ultra Rares in particular, just let me know um, what your offer is for them. And that does it for this video. Um, if you guys want, I'll put up another video showing off my black and white series. Um, and then there's, uh, man, I have basically from Gen 2 through Gen 4, that's like four huge binders right there. So just let me know what else you guys are interested in. Send me an email with any offers. Um, I prefer PayPal. I'll take cash as a last resort. Um, the series offers only. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. And like I said, this isn't the end of my, uh, of, of TCG for me. I'll still open up the products, I just need to sell this to make my money back from the trip. Thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more. I look forward to seeing your trade offers or your, your, your offers to buy my cards.